or you, you know, some of them do actually buy material to make their own. Competitive. Um, yes and no. Uh, first of all, we're competitive with ourselves because everybody I compete to make as dance as well as they can. And you know, sometimes they don't like it, sometimes they accept it. When we actually go out on display, of course, you want to be the best side there, <laughs> and there is that competitive edge but I I wouldn't say we enter competitions or anything like that but we do compete yeah. every side does you want to be the best and you want to dance the best you can and I mean, it's one of the reasons why we've gone for this expansive style that we do uh, because no other team dances like that for, well, well apart from Bedlam so there is some competitiveness. Not serious. Not serious. Well. My name's Chris Rose, I'm the squire of Rattlejag. And I'm Sam Millard, the assistant squire. And we've been together in Rattlejag since Rattlejag started and with uh, uh, Broadstone. Broadstone Morris, which was a Cotswold Morris team before that. We have a very close relationship with the Poacher Morris in as much as they are the closest Morris team physically to us. And right from the very, very start, um, we've been working together and share some of the, the venues together. The very first time that Rattle Jag ever danced out, um, Martin and Sue were there to watch us at Lincoln. And um, because I think that very first dance out, we had about six dancers from Rattle Jag and we got them to join in a dance at the end. And following that, we had a chat with them and they came along to um, the next practice and came and um, were with us for you know a couple of the first couple of years that were in existence. And it was Martin and Sue who introduced us to the dance that we do at the end of our performances, which is called Rattle Off. We have four dances which have uh, which were collected and have survived. Um, three of those are from uh, Yorkshire and one of them is from near Scunthorpe. They're very simple dances. Now I've done a lot of research and I've got nearly 90 references to dance in Lincolnshire particularly and some in Nottinghamshire. And putting all that together, we, we use that as the basis to come up with ideas really.
highly unlikely that what we're doing would act exactly match what went before. But that doesn't matter because the dance is moving forward, developing, and that's what dance is about, you know, move, going forward into the future. We've also combined this with the music that we've found mm. tunes that are local to the area. So we've got a dance called the Market Raise and Quick Step, for instance. Some things work and some things don't, but, um, you know, so far it's working very well. You know, we've had a lot of interest and um, because it's a bit different from other Norris sides, you know, it's, um, it's good to do. We get quite a lot of um, invitations from other teams and from festivals and the reason we get those invitations is that our particular style is totally different. <laughs> in my entire life. God, it's freezing. I'm just about getting the feeling back of my fingers now. But, you know, I, I, I think we have got a, a yeah. reasonable show considering what we're up against. I mean, we wouldn't normally dance out this time of year at all. And it's not the biggest area for us to dance in and with it, it is starting to freeze so it's getting icier as it goes on. So yeah, just we're so having to sort of shrink everything and do everything <laughs> small which is Unfortunately, not really poaching Morrissey's attitude, but... Mm. We, we yeah, didn't have to dance on the stage. No, we didn't have to dance on <laughs> no, we, no worries about falling off a no, stage. No, <laughs> no, and we did measure it as well. We measured the whole mm. layout. 